called on Sunday. Your multiple called on Sunday. Your multiple. my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time I post okay, today's video ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna be trying the Popeye's chicken sandwich and the chick-fil-a chicken sandwich and I'm going to share with you guys which one I think is the best one if you guys can remember there was a whole frenzy on social media when Popeye's came up with their chicken sandwich and people were comparing the two so I may be late like a few months you know late but it's fun if any of you guys were ever curious in essay about which one is actually best I mean I'm pretty sure you can trust my opinion because like you know what I mean guys like you know I'm a chef you know we've got chef Benny with the pots on the channel you know saying so and this is gonna be a mukbang type video so while I eat and compare I'm gonna be talking about things that I think are damaging us as the youth today and I'm sure they were damaging people back in the day too but three things that social media has actually pushed even more that is actually pushing many people into depression ladies and gentlemen in the left corner with a little bit of lettuce poking out looking like a Krabby Patty burger we have Chick-fil-A and in the right corner with a little bit of pickle poking out on the side we have Popeyes Mm, let's get ready to rumble! Here are my two burgers and how I differentiate them is um, Chick-fil-A has lettuce and Popeyes has the pickle. Looking into the burger, um, so Chick-fil-A has lettuce, tomato, cheese and the chicken. Popeyes has the chicken and pickles so already chick-fil-a has a better offering not gonna lie the chick-fil-a bun looks you know a little bit better but the Popeye's patty looks really crispy but the chick-fil-a one also looks really nice so honestly I don't know who's gonna be better and before you judge me for eating on top of my bed I just want to say that after this I'm going to do my laundry and spring clean my room so I will clean up everything in my space but I'm a student I live in my dorm room so I really don't have much filming space right now it's also COVID time which means we're not allowed to be in common spaces so I have to work with what I have so the first burger that I'm going to try I don't know Inky Pinky Ponky, Daddy had a donkey, donkey died, Daddy cried, Inky Pinky Ponky. My mom said I must count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Popeyes. Bruh. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay many months later so the Popeye's chicken patty was really good like the chicken tastes so good it's so crunchy I'm also really hungry so I don't know you know sometimes when you're hungry food tastes a little bit extra nice but it's a chicken patty like can you really mess it up but it tastes really good and it's crunchy it's fresh the pickle adds a little bit of that sparse that you need for laugh you know that sparse it's got, the, it's got that thing man you know what I'm saying so my rating scale is going to be out of five for presentation I would give them like Mm, maybe a three like it didn't look wow it didn't look amazing they you know it just didn't have that whoa make me want to eat it um so it's a three for, for presentation in terms of offering overall i would give them like a two because all they did was put a patty and like pickles like that's two pickles to be precise i think special inside that's just like that's it you know and if i were to rate the burger overall out of five by the way, I don't know, how come, what is the difference between a sandwich and a burger, by the way? Like, how do you decide what you're going to call a sandwich and what you're going to call a burger? Comment down below if you know, because personally, I, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, um, if I were to rate it out of five, I'll give it a four. It's, it, it just is, in fact, no, 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 I'd give it a three. Um, 3.5. 
Okay, make up your damn mind. 3.5, yeah. Cause it's it's not like whoa, but it's good, it's not bad. It's just, you know, 3.5. So before I taste the Chick-fil-A sandwich, I'm gonna talk about the first topic that I think is really messing with our heads as a society. And that is brand name clothing is a scam. Brand clothes are such a scam and when I say brand clothing I mean when you go out and buy like your huge brands and you spend like 50,000 Rand for a bag and a hundred thousand for shoes paying a ridiculous amount of money for clothing because of the brand name is one of the most ridiculous things that I think we as a society subscribe to and I just want to mention that as I mentioned these things I don't want you to assume that I don't fall into them and I don't subscribe personally I'm in the process of trying to break out of societal things that I've learned and it's so hard guys unlearning is so difficult but yeah anyway back to brand names like you will buy a jacket or a shirt for 20,000 Rand $20,000 and as soon as you make that purchase, before you even leave the store, if you think about it, you've lost money. Like, if you ever want to sell that thing, you will never get, you won't even get 10K if you wanted to sell a shirt. Spending money on expensive brand clothing is such a scam. They've created this sense of esteem trying to convince people that, oh, if you have a Birkin bag, since everybody's talking about Birkins, if you have a Birkin bag, you're better than other people. Or it makes you feel like you don't drive on the road, you drive in the skies. And I don't mean flying or anything, but the point I'm trying to make, sorry, I'm kind of bad. I'm not bad with analogies, but you know, whatever. The point I'm trying to make is they've convinced us that our worth is based on being able to buy these things that literally can tear, can shrink, can be stolen, can be lost, uh, what else, can stain and the stain never comes off. Imagine spending 20,000 for something to shrink and what are you going to do about it? There's nothing you can absolutely do about it. You'll never get that money back. It doesn't appreciate. It's literally just this thing that you bought and I'm not against luxury and spoiling yourself because you know some brands are very expensive but the quality you get is absolutely amazing I don't know if you guys have ever bought from a really cheap place or a cheap brand like you get what you pay for the material is gonna be horrible you being on this level to be able to buy a broken bag or to be able to afford brand clothing it still doesn't make you better than other people you still poo like everyone else you pee like everyone else life is gonna kick your ass like everybody else you are just another human being with money that's all and I think social media is telling us that that people who have money are better than us the point I'm trying to make is it's okay for you to buy your luxury things you know however you spend your money is your business we need to stop telling people how to spend their money like let them do what they want to do but all I'm trying to say is understand that you cannot base your meaningful existence and life on meaningless things. I just want to remind whoever is watching this right now that you are not any less worthy, deserving and good and accomplished because you cannot afford a certain kind of bag or a certain kind of clothing. And at the end of the day, all these things fade away, all these things pass away. But in the end, all that you have is your soul. That's all that you have. And where does the soul come from? The soul comes from God. So just remember at the end of the day that these things mean nothing. And don't let people convince you that you are nothing over things that are literally nothing. Okay, anyway, so I just wanna clear my palate. I'm just gonna chew this gum and drink water to clear my palate um, so that I can taste the Chick-fil-A. Closed on Sunday. You're my Chick-fil-A. Closed on Sunday. You're my Chick-fil-A. I was very surprised to find out that um, Chick-fil-A closes on Sundays because um, the founder was a Christian. I think he might have passed on. But, fun fact, that explains Kanye West lyrics. But what does that mean, close on Sunday, my Chick-fil-A? What does he mean, close on Sunday? Like, how is a human closed on Sunday? Is it like, close your mouth? Close your legs? I don't know. Close work? Close your mind? What does that mean? Another fun fact, I found out today that I'm doing this because I don't want you guys to see me too, by the way. I found out today that Chick fil A doesn't sell chicken. It's crazy, right? Chick fil A doesn't sell chicken. They don't. They only sell chicken sandwiches, nuggets, milkshakes, stuff like that. 
No real chicken though. Popeyes does. By the way, if you're in SA watching this, let me know if you like Popeyes because I know they came to SA. Let me know if you guys actually like it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm now about to try the Chick-fil-A sandwich. I'm actually real life hungry, guys. Like when I turn this camera off, I'm gonna eat. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Okay. You see you guys, now I don't remember what criteria I used to judge the Popeyes burger because it was such a long time ago. But um, um, I think it was um, in terms of presentation. In terms of presentation, I'm going to give them a 5. Like the patty looked good, the burger looked good, everything looked good in it. The next thing I think was um, offering and I would have to give them a 4 in terms of offering because they had the lettuce, they had the tomato, they had the patty, they had the bun. like. You know, they definitely had a lot more than just a chicken patty and pickles. I want to make it clear, by the way, that I ordered the classic chicken sandwich from both Popeyes and from Chick-fil-A. So that was both, they're just their classics. And the last one, I think this is the last one, is what do I give the burger overall? Overall, I would definitely give the Chick-fil-A one a five. Like, you guys saw the difference in my reaction. Um, it was just really good. It actually tasted really good. It tasted wholesome. It tasted like a hug. It, like, it tasted good. So guys, the burger that I pick, which I think is very obvious, is the Chick-fil-A burger. I just feel like they offered more, it tasted better, it just, it honestly, honestly, it was really good. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Chick-fil-A, but again, nothing is wrong with Popeyes, like it tastes good, it's, it's you know, it's just, guys, it's, it's a chicken sandwich, it's really just not that deep. Oksala, either way, you'll get full, you'll eat, enjoy, and be full, which is what I'm about to do, because I'm hungry. I don't want to go into detail about the next point, because this video is dragging and being kind of long, but the next point was us feeling like, I hope there's no lipstick on my chin, anyway, us feeling like we're not good enough because of social media social media showing us people who seem to be so much richer and have a great body the truth is we don't know the reality behind people's Instagram lives listen to me carefully Instagram is not real life it is easy to lie to people on Instagram there's Photoshop there's taking pictures with things that aren't yours there are so many tools that people use to manipulate you and Instagram has its own algorithms etc to literally manipulate you um, if you haven't seen the social dilemma on Netflix check it out but seriously I want you to know that you are where you need to be right now on purpose that is where God has placed you right now and remember God is not done with you yet meaning wherever you are now whether it's at the top or the very bottom God is not done with you yet you will still see more grace more favor more growth more promotion but don't compare yourself to other people comparison is a killer of peace and joy it also kills gratitude so how about we try, and I'm saying try because it's easier said than done. How about we try to stop comparing ourselves with other people and focus our eyes on us and what we are doing. So don't you give up on yourself when God has not given up on you. And I just wanna close off this video by saying, don't lose yourself to things of vanity. The Bible says everything is vanity, guys. I want you to take time to think about it, literally, everything is vanity if you think about it nothing matters nothing but love matters guys literally literally you can lose everything but you have your soul you'll have love and what is love god is love and love is real he who does not love does not know god for god is love that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos any videos that you guys want to see comment down below and i'll try my absolute best to make it happen for you Peace and love, guys.